I'm here with Mark Chaffee, he's the VP of Governmental Affairs and Sustainability. And you know, I noticed that there, uh, I think we're a lot more educated on energy usage and things, and now we actually have labels on some of our large pumps. And you know, Mark was instrumental in uh, getting through some of this stuff, and I'd like to kind of find out what all this means. Well, this is really exciting. I mean, the label is really uh, a culmination of a lot of work that we've done over the last couple of years. I mean, we really started with the Department of Energy mm -hmm. and the rulemaking back okay. in 2011 when wow. the DOE came knocking on our door and said, we're going to regulate pumps. And uh, we said, well, no thanks. And they yeah. said, no, it doesn't really work that way. Ah, okay. Um, but what we've done is as an industry, and certainly as TACO, we've really embraced not only high efficiency pumping, but high efficiency pumping systems with drives and now ECM motors. Mm -hmm. And what we really wanted to do also as an industry, as a collective industry with all of us pump manufacturers, is to create a labeling system to provide that information out to the people that have to specify pumps. So okay. they, they know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we have here. Yeah, some meaningful information. So what are we looking at, Mark? What we're really looking at here is a rating system that you can go ahead and rate the pump, mm -hmm. the pump and motor, or a pump motor and drive. And what it's going to do is it's based on an industry test standard, so a test standard that's referenced by the DOE rulemaking, that's created by the Hydraulic Institute. Mm -hmm. And then, so now you have an apples to apples comparison of how much energy from most consumptive to least consumptive mm -hmm. in the in, uh, of all the pumps in the industry of wow. where your pump falls. Wow, wow. So it's almost like buying a refrigerator and it's got that little energy usage, but this is a lot more detailed and stuff going into it. It's, it's not very just electrical yeah. watts. It's know? very similar. What we really wanted to do is have it look familiar, look like, mm -hmm. almost like an Energy Star kind of label, right. one you might see. Now, of course, pumps don't sit on the on the shelves at you know, your local store and you're going in and buying these big commercial pumps mm -hmm. and comparing them. But it will appear in all the submittal data information, in your pump sizing and selection programs. So this energy rating um, it's going to become uh, common terminology in the marketplace uh, starting now. Uh, a lot of the manufacturers have introduced the label and are showing it on, the, on their products today. Well, that, that's refreshing. I, you know, I know in Europe they've been doing this for a while, but they're also cost of utilities and energy has been so much more that they, you know, where they mandated it sooner. But it's great here in North America that we're being cognizant of energy uses and now you have a comparison guide. We do. And what's really nice about the comparison guide is the number actually means something. If I have a 50 compared to a 70, mm -hmm. it's, I know it's 20% more efficient. Oh. I also can take this number and if I know my run hours and my cost of electricity, I can just multiply those together and I can get an actual dollar figure of what the estimated energy savings would be from going from either a baseline, uh, like a right. standard pump, something that might have been out in the marketplace for the last 10 or 15 years, right. or if I'm comparing two pumps, say I'm comparing a pump that just has, just has a motor, mm -hmm. motor and pump, or one that says I want to add a drive. Right. And I know, hey, if I add a drive, I can go from maybe a 30 to a 70. Well, how much more is that going to save me? Right. Now I can do the simple math using the label and actually put that down to a dollar amount. And that's okay. really where it becomes useful for the for a contractor, an owner, or a maintenance person. Or somebody's looking at payback or somebody's only, at payback. only, only, only but there's payback. more to the, than that's, that. That's correct. Wow. Wow. And, and our rating, this the 70 is really fantastic. And yeah, I'm looking, uh, you know, you would, just about as, as most efficient as you can get in that category. That's correct. Yeah. And, wow. and this could be for um, all end suction frame mounted pumps of any size. So we really are maximizing it, especially on a unit this size. Mm -hmm. And we're doing that in combination with a characterized drive uh -huh. and the ECM motor that we're showing okay. here at the show. Well, for the I'm first glad time. that they, they take all that into account now, that they, you know, be able to do all that and say just a standard pump or something like that. Uh, so. Now, this is all great, but I deal with the small, wimpy things, you know? <laughs> but what, what do I do? I mean, are we going to integrate a, a rating system for the smaller pumps, uh, more in the residential, domestic side? or? So, uh, we had the same rulemaking that we had done for the commercial industrial pumps. We went through for the circulators. Okay. Now, it's still pending. The Department right. of Energy hasn't released that rule into the marketplace yet, and we're waiting for that to happen. Okay. However, that hasn't stopped the industry. Okay. So, all of us circulator manufacturers, 
a lot of us are also the same yeah. guys who did it on the pump, right. are coming out with a labeling uh, program. So we will see labels in this exact same format for circulator pumps this year. Oh, wow, wow. Is, is, is speaking of the small circulating pumps, again, that I deal a lot with, uh, do we see a uh, certain end life of a regular AC pump or permanent split capacitor getting to an ECM? Or do you see a certain point where well, certainly when the regulation, when the rulemaking comes into effect, what we agreed on uh, and negotiated with the Department of Energy is um, when the rule comes into effect, all uh, split capacitor, all standard motors will go away and you'll have to go to ECM to, to meet okay. the rulemaking. So okay. we will see all those 007, standard 007s, yeah. at some point will go away and everything right. will go ECM. Right, right, right. And, and what's nice is with the rulemaking too, is with circulators, they not only uh, looked at the technology of the motor in ECM, but also the types of controls that you have on there. Oh. So ratings for differential pressure or constant pressure or even uh, differential temperature will carry different ratings on that side of it. Oh, okay. So now, since it's an uh, integral unit, uh, the electronics and the programming and how it works is part of the rating system. So that even went one step further than, uh, than what we were able to accomplish oh. on, the, on the commercial oh. industrial pumps. Oh. So the consumer is going to get a lot of yeah. knowledge about not only uh, how much energy it uses, but then the application that it can be put into. Right, 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 right. Well, that, that, that's great on that. You know, we talked about a regular pump versus that. Just, just how more efficient is an ECM than a regular AC pump anyhow? I mean, is it two to one, three to one? What, is there any general things for people that don't know when you do a comparison? Or it's well, tough? Well, certainly it's, I mean, you can see up to 85%, say 85% energy savings, especially on the, on the smaller circulators that, that, that yeah. you're, you're talking about on that side of it. So you can see some big savings, wow. mainly because now you're running variable speed. Okay. So as you're running down that curve of variable speed, you're just using a tremendous amount of less power, right. you know, at, 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 a, at a factor and of a And system responsive. And system so responsive it, no. on that side of it. Yeah. Um, but the energy rating on the circulator is actually going to show a range. So it will show your, your most consumptive mode, so mm -hmm. full speed, yeah. and your least consumptive mode that might be okay. something like a differential temperature right. control yeah. on that side of it. So yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be a very valuable label, um, not only in terms of how much you're saving, but how much you can save if you put it in, in different right. modes. Right, um, right, right. Well, hopefully right. it will get us to have more more efficient systems be specified, installed, and operated in, in, well, in that methodology. Well, right, awareness in the industry, and then driven down from the top, either homeowners want to be green, or they want as efficient system as possible, and now we have a way of rating or calorie, you know, showing, even before it gets mandatory, somebody could actually say, hey, look, you know, here yeah. we go, here's the numbers, here's yeah. your savings. It's really the industry just being leaders in the stewardship of our, of our planet and, mm -hmm. and taking the technology that's available out there, implementing it in new products, and then providing the information right. um, to the consumer right. and engineer, right. wherever that happens to be making that buying choice, right. um, to hopefully make the right choice. Yeah, well, that's awesome, but, you know, just, to, you know, sum it up, looking back at here, this can really save some energy. You have a pump that's running at fixed speed, and, and now you put in something with ECM and system response or characterized drive, and I can't believe the amount of savings you would have with that. Is oh, that tens, of, tens of thousands of dollars you could save, you right. know, on a, on a, on a, on a, Let's say you had a 50, I was doing some uh, uh, training earlier today mm -hmm. on a 50 horsepower pump going to something with a very variable speed drive running about 4,000 hours a year. Right. You're saving about thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars 14000 a year oh my gosh. in energy that's savings. Real, that's real yeah. money. Oh, it, 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 oh it, my it gosh, is. Oh my gosh, yeah. And the impact on the environment, you have to produce that electricity, use it. And for this little bit, I get the same movement of heat and, and, and comfort level and all that. Oh, you're probably improving your comfort level. Oh, you're right. Uh, you're absolutely, especially if, you, especially if you have now with the characterized drives mm -hmm. in combination um, where you're matching the exact performance of that pump that it's attached to, so the drive is, is much smarter and knows where your load profiles are. So it's, it's virtually trimming that impeller um, electronically instead of pulling yeah. it out like we had to in the old days and put it on, yeah. put the impeller on a, on a lathe and trim right. it down to match it. Mechanically, Af yeah. After it's already in the system, now you can do it automatically, electronically, and now you get the wow. exact pump 
for the system conditions, not just what would happen to be specified mm -hmm. uh, and the best guess that the, that the engineer had when designing the system. And that's really where that savings is, is, is that combination of intelligence, uh, ECM, which is less, uh, less electrical usage, uh, cooler running, uh, less seal wear, on and on and on. Oh, no, 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 you know, wow. on well, that's awesome. That's a, and you think that, and then you put it with a high efficiency generation equipment, you know, whether it's fossil fuel or like a heat pump with a COP, and you're doing, boy, you could really create a very efficient system out there. This is exciting. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, it's, a, wow. it's an exciting, it's an exciting time. Wow. Lots of lots of changes and and lots of good information coming out to help right. people make those decisions. Right. Right. Well, that was awesome. You know, it really, it, it, you know, I've been looking at the tag and we've been talking about this for a while, how the industry has come together and, and agreed on a mutual standard and, and all that. And Mark has really been instrumental on that. So it's really refreshing to see it's coming to fruition. You know, we're going through here. It, it, it really is amazing. So uh, thank you for joining us.